Hello everyone. Today I'm excited to discuss all about the native IPsec support on Catalyst 9K switches and how we can seamlessly enable it through Cisco Catalyst Center to enhance secure campus connectivity. I'm Aishwarya Sudeep, a technical marketing engineer at the Catalyst 9000 switching platform BU at Cisco. Also, stay tuned for a live demo where I'll be showcasing all the implementation steps. Before we delve into the nuances of hardware-based IPsec support on Catalyst 9000 switches, let's take a moment to understand the crucial role IPsec plays in today's networking ecosystem. In our interconnected world, the sheer volume of data transferred between business networks globally is staggering. With this data flowing through our networks, the last thing we want is someone snooping into our confidential information. Therefore, the need for a secure connection ensuring data confidentiality, integrity, and authenticity becomes paramount. And that's what precisely what Internet Protocol Security accomplishes. IPsec, the acronym we often use, is a protocol that encrypts sensitive information preventing unwanted monitoring across the public internet. It also swiftly authenticates data ensuring that it originates from a known sender. Organizations use IPsec to protect against replay attacks or man-in-the-middle attacks thanks to its mature protocol suite that supports a range of encryption and hashing algorithms. Now, envision having this capability in your switch, enabling secure connectivity to any remote site anywhere, providing an ideal infrastructure for streamlined lean branch deployments. Sounds promising. Now, the Catalyst 9000's native IPsec journey commenced with the UADP 2.0 SEC ASIC on the 9300X, then progressed on to the 9400X with the UADP 3.0 SEC ASIC, enabling secure connections to branch sites and the cloud. Now, these platforms can achieve an impressive throughput of 100 gigabytes per second of hardware-based encryption, courtesy of the advanced crypto engine. Diving into the IPsec capabilities, we support tunnel mode, encapsulation as ESP, and the open standard Ike v2. Along with that, we have a list of software features to complement the hardware that include NAT traversal, policy-based routing, GRE over IPsec, to name a few. When it comes to implementation, please note that the switch will require Advantage and HeadSec K9 licensing. In a typical campus architecture, whether large or small, we normally structure it with access, distribution, and code layers. Often overlooked yet crucial is the ingress layer interfacing the campus with external networks like the internet and WAN. This layer plays a vital role in establishing secure connections to entities like other campuses, data centers, or cloud hosting services. Traditionally, in larger campuses, the network setup usually includes routers and VPN concentrators as the edge, handling SD-WAN and IPsec for complete connectivity. But for smaller entities like lean branches and compact campuses that do not require SD-WAN but need secure cloud or remote connection, the introduction of IPsec support on C9K helps with consolidating multiple devices to reduce the hardware footprint. To reiterate, this solution is particularly tailored to customers deploying small campuses or lean branches where there is a need for IPsec to securely connect to other sites that include cloud providers, secure internet gateways, data centers, firewalls, routers, or other catalyst switches that support native IPsec or supports a software-based IPsec application hosted on the switch like IPsec Client by CodyLine. Moving forward to the configuration of IPsec on Catalyst 9K, there are two methods available. The first option is a turnkey solution using the Cisco Catalyst Center. This involves utilizing day and CLI templates to efficiently provision the IPsec tunnel that I'll be demonstrating later. Alternatively, for users who prefer a hands-on approach, they can configure IPsec using the switch CLI. Another option is to opt for an automated approach using the tools such as Ansible, Terraform, Python, or leveraging protocols like NetConf or ResConf. This allows users more flexibility in configuring IPsec according to their specific requirements. Now for a streamlined configuration of an IPsec tunnel, Let's focus on the first approach where we leverage day and CLI templates via Cisco Catalyst Center. Initiating the workflow involves configuring all relevant IPsec settings on the remote side as the first step. In the second step, ensure the switch responsible for building the IPsec tunnel is successfully onboarded on the Catalyst Center. Subsequently, the day and CLI template needs to be created encompassing all the necessary IPsec settings 
that we will be going through in the demo. Once the template is built, proceed to step three to provision the switch with the template. This action will push the IP6 settings to the switch, facilitating the Ike phase one and two negotiation to finally establish the IPsec tunnel to the remote site. Before we go ahead with the demo, let's first go over the setup's topology. Here we have a Catalyst 9300X switch highlighted in blue, which is connected to a client machine. The intent here is to build an IPsec tunnel from the switch to Cisco Umbrella to provide this client with internet connectivity. Let's go over it. Firstly, I have RDP'd into the Windows client machine. To check the client's connectivity, I'm going to click on the YouTube URL bookmarked here. As you can see, the client connected to the 9300X has no internet connectivity. Now for time constraints, we have already done the relevant IV6 settings on the umbrella portal, and we have made note of the tunnel ID and passphrase, which is our PSK. Now to go ahead and configure all the IP6 settings on the 9300X that has been already onboarded onto the Cisco Catalyst Center, we are leveraging DNCLI templates. Firstly, navigate to the hamburger menu, click on tools, then template hub to create a new template. For time constraints, we have already created a template called C9K underscore umbrella and attached it to the switch network profile. Let's now go ahead and click the template to view the IPsec tunnel config to Umbrella. Firstly, in this template, to bring up the IQV2 tunnel, parameters like IQV2 proposal, policy, and keyring are added. Then the IP2 profile is created where the crypto keyring is called. We conclude the crypto configuration by configuring the IPsec profile, including the IPsec transform set and IQV2 profile. We also specify the interface on which the tunnel will be created in the end, we also add a default route. Now to go ahead and provision this tunnel, let's go ahead and navigate to the hamburger menu, click on provision, and then click on inventory. Next, we need to go ahead and select the device, in our case, the 9300X, click on action, provision, and then select provision device. This page ends up listing the 9300X's serial number and location. After this, you need to just click on next. Now click on the device to enter the umbrella specific details to the template. First, we need to enter the Cisco Umbrella DCIP. Here we're entering the Santa Clara DCIP since it's closest to the device. Next, we need to type a generic name for the tunnel name that we will be using in the config. Here we're typing site umbrella tunnel. Then we need to type the umbrella pre-shared key that will be negotiated between the 9300X and umbrella. For the local identity, we need to enter the tunnel ID that we made note of while configuring the IPsec configurations on the umbrella portal. Next, for tunnel number, a value needs to be entered to create a unique tunnel. Here, we're entering it as 10. Lastly, for tunnel source, we need to enter the source interface which the tunnel will use in order to reach the umbrella DC. Before clicking next, I'm going to go ahead and select provision these templates even if these have been deployed before. After a quick review of the summary page that displays the device and network details, click on deploy. Then select Apply to provision the device now. Once done, click on the pop-up task tab to check if the 9300X was provisioned successfully with the template. To verify if the IPsec tunnel to Umbrella has successfully been established, let's navigate to the switch command line. For that, you have to navigate to the hamburger menu, click on Provision, then Inventory, select the device which is a 9300X, and then click on Action, Run command. This way, the show command terminal will pop up. Next, enter the command show crypto session interface tunnel 10 to display the status information. Here, as you can see, both IPsec and Ike phase one essays exist and are active. If we go ahead and log into the umbrella portal, the tunnel status also shows as active. Let's now log into the Windows client machine to check the internet connectivity status by clicking on the bookmarked YouTube URL. As you can see, the client can now successfully reach out to the internet. As previously mentioned, IPsec deployments with Catalyst 9K presents various deployment use cases such as site-to-site, -site, site to cloud implementations as I just demonstrated. Now, let me share a customer use case that really helps illustrate the advantages of implementing IPsec on Catalyst 9K platforms, which include fixed stackable 9300X as well as a modular 9400X. 
In this scenario, a series of Catalyst 9K switches supporting native IPsec are strategically placed at the axis and also as a collapsed core in remote sites. These switches leverage IPsec capabilities to establish secure connections to the data center, achieving site-to-site -site secure connectivity at the speeds of up to 100 gig through IPsec. Moreover, the implementation goes beyond simple connectivity. The IPsec tunnels serve as a foundation for extending fabric, thereby allowing flexibility to extend layer 2 and layer 3 policies, further enhancing the versatility of the solution. This standardized design offers scalability, allowing the organization to adjust bandwidth from 10 gig to 100 gig for secure connectivity across the van. By consolidating these functions into a Catalyst 9K switch, the organization benefits from a cost-effective solution. Ending on a positive note, I conclude this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.